The land of Canaan is the land of promise for God's chosen people. Canaan is now known as modern-day Lebanon, and most of the people who lived in Canaan were descendants of Canaan, who it was named after. Canaan is also very important for God's plan. His chosen people, the Israelites, were on their way to Canaan after they left Egypt, but it took longer than they expected. God made them wander around for 40 years before reaching the Promised Land. Once they finally reach there, they meet the Hittites, Arameans, and Phoenicians. Barely anyone knew of the Hittites before the 20th century. People did not even know that they even existed. The Bible, mainly the Old Testament, was the only place where there was some kind of information about the Hittites. There were some archaeological discoveries around the 20th century that showed the existence concerning the Hittite Empire. The Hittites most likely began to settle around 2000 BC in Asia Minor. Hittites were ruled by a Hittite king who was the commander of the army. The king controlled the chief warriors, which controlled the supplies they needed, such as iron and weapons. Hittites were skilled with iron in horse-drawn chariots. They were most likely feared by others. With skill in chariots, later they made their empire bigger throughout Asia Minor where the Fertile Crescent was located. Later they took over Syria and came in conflict with the Egyptians. With all the fighting, Hittites were fixed on different culture and slowly became unknown. The Phoenicians were Canaanites. They used murex so much to make their purple dye that they drove it into extinction. A nickname for the purple dye the Phoenicians made is Royal Purple because the process of extracting the dye from the murex was so difficult and so time consuming. And the fact that it was very expensive, thus the wealthy were the only people who could afford the cloth dyed with purple dye. The darker the cloth dyed purple was the more expensive the cloth was. Friendly relations were established between King Hiram of the Phoenician city, Tyre, and King Solomon. So the Phoenicians actually built the Temple of King Solomon using Phoenician designs. DNA research has been done and 22% of Lebanese today are of Phoenician descent. And the Phoenicians paid Berber leaders in Morocco so that they would escort their trading caravans into the African interior. It is thought that Gebel, later to be inhabited and named Byblos by the Phoenicians is the oldest city in the world.